Well, supporting beef wapsi tonight is Advaita Kala, author and script writer Rupin Doshi. He's CEO of Future Tech. He's a citizen voice tonight supporting beef wapsi. You support beef wapsi. Asif Bamla of, uh, of the NCP is president of the Bamla Foundation. Yusuf Iqbal Yusuf, lawyer of the Supreme Court, joining me tonight. He's supporting beef wapsi. You've got four voices supporting beef wapsi. And two voices as of now against that China NC doesn't like beef wapsi. Uh, she doesn't like award wapsi and she doesn't like beef wapsi. Those are completely different issues. I'm just punning on it. Now, Prem Shukla, senior journalist, does not like beef wapsi. My problem is, what's the, what's, what's the issue here? This matter was debated a few months back, right? Settle ho gaya abhi. You cannot go into anybody's house and say that you cannot have beef in your house. Because I was actually worried in the past when I heard, and Yusuf, let me start with you, you know, that you can open up somebody's fridge, find beef and arrest the person. Exactly. That was draconian. Now, the possession of beef is no longer criminal. So, beef has been decriminalized in a way. Am I reading this correct? Yes, Absolutely sir. right. So, as the earlier provisions which are sought to be imposed, yeah. Section 5C and 5D were basically infringing upon the privacy of an individual and a citizen yeah. that empowered an officer to go into the house of a person to look if he has possession of beef yeah. and then to prosecute him. Yeah. And the funniest part was that under section 9b, the burden on proving that that meat is not beef yeah. was on the individual from whom the possession of that beef was So if found. I go into your house and I find beef, <laughs> yes. you have to get a scientific test to make sure that, yes. you know, you have to prove and that it's not beef but chicken. And it being a non-bailable offence, right. I would be behind bars till such time as I could prove. I was supposed to prove it but I would be behind bars yeah. because it was given as a non-bailable offence. It was classified as one. Yeah. So now, today the High Court says that under Article 21, the right to liberty also includes the right to privacy. Right. And the right to privacy is infringed upon by Section 5D. Yeah. So it has been struck down the Section 5D. As far as Section 5C is concerned, it says possession of beef of an animal which is slaughtered in Maharashtra has to be a conscious possession. It yeah. just cannot be. No, just I, possession I, is I, not important. I find, I find uh, uh, the High Court Judgment Para 176 most interesting. And I want to read this out to China and see. So it's a lesson for your party, the BJP, never to try and interfere in the rights of citizens. This is what the court says. It says, in fact, the state cannot control what a citizen does in his house, which is his own castle, provided he is not doing something which is contrary to the law. A state cannot make an intrusion into his home <coughs> and prevent a citizen from possessing and eating food of his choice. A citizen has a right to have a meaningful life within the four corners of his house as well as outside his house. As long as he is doing nothing illegal and as eating beef is not illegal. Yeah, and, and the state cannot prevent a citizen from possessing and consuming a particular type of food which is not injurious to health or obnoxious. Now this is as clear as that. It's, it's, it's frankly an embarrassing moment for you. Do you feel you should have never got into this embarrassment? What was the need for you? Everything was okay, hunky-dory. Why did you get into this beef, anti-beef brigade? Are you embarrassed tonight, China? May I answer? I yeah, yeah, please, please. Questions are meant to be answered always. First, this is not to do with a specific community or a specific group. No, I never mentioned community, you did. No, no, I mentioned right. You mentioned community. No, There's the something wrong in your thinking. Of I didn't. Did I mention order. community? Asib Bhamla? I never mentioned community. She mentioned community. I did. Yeah. Is a directive <laughs> principle. The prohibition of cow slaughter is a directive principle under Article 48. And if you please allow me to read what this states. It says that the state shall endeavor to organize agriculture and animal husbandry on modern and scientific lines and shall in particular take steps okay. for preserving and improving Again, you see, you've not learnt your lesson. Prohibiting yeah, the slaughter of cows and calves and other milk and drought oh, please, cattle. Yeah. This is not limited to oh, please, a yeah. specific thought. So what and are you reading? You're reading the wrong uh, thing. Uh, wrong in any No, no, sense, you're reading the wrong thing. Why would you have 20 Are you sure you're reading the right 29 thing? States no, you're reading the wrong thing. Cow slaughter no. in China, this country of ours. Article 21 and suggests yeah. China that we must protect Article not 21 just the China, protection of life. And article and Article 21 enables a person 
the liberty to live the way he desires to, to eat what he desires to, for your kind information. However, sure, I welcome... No, 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 let me complete. China, however, however, I... Or a snake. China, however... That is your prerogative. Let me, let me complete, China, please, let me complete. However, we welcome... This is about a direct principle under Article 48, which says only this. You cannot say I want to eat snakes. No, because this is suggesting that you could eat whatever you choose to. Yes, China, I should... Exactly. No, no, watch what. Let me let me complete with China. I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a question. Well, excuse me. I have a, I have a question to ask to China. However, we welcome the decision of uh, uh, the courts. But this is not the first uh, uh, decision in the in, in the fortnight. It is the second decision against the state government for the illegal structures. For promoting the illegal structures that was uh, that was intended by the state government, I think what the you, government. No, no, why you take, make it technical? Why you make it now, technical? Now, coming back to this, I think uh, it's uh, it, it, we we have crossed the levels where we should be told what to eat, what to consume, and what not to. What is the condition uh, for 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 a farmer? For the farmer, do we know the condition of the farmers in Vidarbha in Khandesh? For the farmer, the cattle is his economy. For your kind information, China. For a farmer, the cattle is his economy. When the cattle, the same cattle, when it turns old. Yeah, after continue. Every monsoon, continue. Don't after, weigh your words. No, continue. After every, your, after every monsoon, please, the farmer sells may I that. My no, point? China, no, watch, 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 watch. He will respond. Sells the cattle. He derives that money. He puts more money and buys a fresh cattle. Now that same cattle is left on the road. It's left at the mercy because the farmer is not in a position to look after its upkeep. What does Where this does have he, to do with the beef ban? What? What does this have to do with the beef ban? Watch, watch, Please just make one, a just logical one. argument. Yeah, yeah, watch, you watch. have the Honorable yeah. Supreme Court in 2005 giving a landmark judgment. Post that, Arnab, if out of 29 states, 24 states of this diverse country of ours says we must ban cow slaughter. Yeah, I'm glad only. you mentioned the there word diverse. No, no, no. I, I'm glad you mentioned the word diverse yes, because absolutely. I thought you'd forgotten about it. China, absolutely. you see, if you understand what diversity is, if you, if you understand what diversity is, and, and China, today, come on, I, you've been speaking. I haven't spoken of, over you so far, but, but I must but I must intervene. Sure. You mentioned diversity. Sure. Muslims make up 13 to 15 percent of Maharashtra's population, they eat beef. Christian make up about 3 percent of the state's population they eat beef Dalits make up about 16 percent of Maharashtra's population and beef forms an important part of the diet for many Dalit and other Hindu communities all across the Hindu religion there are many communities which have beef now there are many people there are many once are we going to say what you have to eat? Once, there are many people from Kerala from northeastern states from West Bengal from Assam from for whom for whom for whom beef is a important part of their diet you can't infringe on it the larger point is this we no no you were told you were told and you were warned that Article 21 of the Constitution deals with the right to liberty, and that's a fundamental right. And I can tell you, a fundamental right overrides any, anything that is mentioned anywhere else in the Constitution. Of One second. No, but we are opening the debate now. You are opening the debate now. I'm happy that, that, now, that, I'm happy that 9B of the Act. No, no, watch, watch. Well, Asif, 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 on wrong. the state and not on the accused. Asif, I'm happy for that. Asif, 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 Asif. Prem Shukla in, please. Prem Shukla and Prem Shukla on the one side, and Prem Shukla make your point on the other side to open the sheet, please. Yeah, go on. प्रेम शुक्ला बहुत साफ सी बात इस हाई कोर्ट के जजमेंट में है हाई कोर्ट ने इसकी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वैल्यू जो है उसको माना है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनली जिसको कहा जा रहा था कि ये कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के अगेंस्ट है उसने माना कि कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल है एक्ट एक चीज सुनिए पूरी बात गलत बात आपकी बात सुनी है कृपा करके मेरी बात भी पूरी होने दें उसकी जो संवैधानिक वैल्यू का कहा जा रहा था कि यह पूरा एक्ट जो पूरा एक्ट वो असंवैधानिक है यह दावा था एक दूसरा दावा यह किया गया था कि यह किसी एक रिलीजियस ग्रुप के अगेंस्ट है यह दावा भी एनसीपी भी कर रही थी yes, कांग्रेस भी कर रही थी एक, एक, लेकिन रिलीजियस ये कहीं से भी कम्युनल एक्ट नहीं है किसी रिलीजन के अगेंस्ट नहीं है अब बात रह गई कि उसमें से दो पॉइंट्स जिनको कोर्ट ने जो है हाई कोर्ट ने कहा कि ये हम खारिज करते हैं ये एक्ट का पार्ट नहीं है लेकिन अभी सुप्रीम सुप्रीम कोर्ट अभी एक फोरम हमारा बैलेंस है जिसमें लीगल ओपिनियन लेने के बाद 
अपना पक्ष रखने के लिए स्टेट इसलिए यह कहना बीफ वापसी हुई पर सबसे बड़ा उसमें संकट यह है कि आप जो यह कह रहे हैं कि अपने घर में बीफ जो है वो रख सकते हैं लेकिन आप यहां बुलक्स या बाकी जो काउ फैमिली के जो एनिमल्स हैं उनको काट नहीं सकते कम्युनिटी खुद कह रही है कि हम इस जजमेंट से खुद ही जो है बहुत भ्रमित है ये आपने point is this this is a victory because of the bizarre logic that you are not allowed to eat something even if it is imported from another imported, state or country important point you, you, you can't do this and it is a and it is a victory against the vicious yes. propaganda no, of the bjp government yes, which is aimed at the government this is the government this is the government telling me this is their allegation against from abroad i cannot bring beef from abroad the maharashtra government saying i cannot import beef how how can the maharashtra government govern what i can bring in or not you can protect the animal within the state of maharashtra the maharashtra government has the power to regulate the preserve and preserve the animals within its state how can you tell me that i cannot bring in beef from out that is what has been struck down as unconstitutional no, you no, are infringing into my plate you, you are can coming you, in my plate import, and telling me i am not supposed to eat something meat of pig in any islamic country can you import How I why you compare? That's not what Rupan does. That's Rupan. Rupan does. 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 Rupan does
to suffer from cancer, heart disease and bronchitis. Six million people in this country die because of tobacco com consumption. At least three or four million are simply because of the high consumption of BDs. And what happens every year in the budget? You will increase the tax on cigarettes, but you will not increase the tax on BDs. Right? You will encourage people to have good car. 2,500 people die of good car every year. You will encourage people to have good car because you don't have the guts to ban good car. Because many of the good car manufacturers have links with political parties. No, no, listen to me. No, no, listen to me. I'm saying something. I'm saying something. Listen to me. I'm saying something. 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 कि आप लोग आप चाहते हैं लोगों का कैंसर हो लोगों के हार्ट डिजीज हो लोगों को ब्रोंकाइटिस हो लोगों को ओरल कैंसर हो लोग बीड़ी पिए ये सब आप चाहते हैं कोई नहीं आपने नहीं क्योंकि 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 आप ये बीड़ी जब आदमी पीता है आप बीड़ी को हिंदू मुस्लिम लाइन में डिवाइड नहीं कर सकते इसकी सीधी सीधी लाइन यह है आप नहीं कह सकते हिंदू बीड़ी पीता है मुस्लिम नहीं पीता या मुस्लिम पीता है हिंदू नहीं पीता आपको हिंदू मुस्लिम इश्यूज चाहिए मेरी बात सुनिए आप मेरी बात सुनिए आप 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 बीड़ी बीड़ी को आप या गुड़का को आप हिंदू मुस्लिम एक रिलिजियस ग्रुप बताइए जिसको काउ मैं आपको कह रहा हूँ मैं आपको मैं आपको मैं आपको बिल्कुल सही है मैं आपको बिल्कुल बिल्कुल कॉन्फिडेंस से कह रहा हूँ अरे भाई सुन तो लीजिए प्रेम शुक्ला जी सुन लीजिए आप कांग्रेस पार्टी के तरह क्यों हो गए आप तो सुन नहीं, नहीं, सुन बिल्कुल कांग्रेस की तरह बात तो ये हाँ आप कांग्रेस की तरह नहीं तक नहीं हो सकते पॉइंट आई एम मेकिंग एंड वाई एम आई सेंग इज दिस दैट अद्वेता इफ पॉलिटिशियंस कुड ड्रॉ हिंदू मुस्लिम डिवाइड ऑन बीडीज एंड गुड का दे वुड हैव डन इट बाई नाउ If they would have felt, if they would have felt that by banning BDS, we will get vote from these people or against these people, they would have done this by now. They don't do it. They don't care for the people. This is simply a Hindu-Muslim issue that some parties are trying to create. Is there any doubt on that? Please, Rahul. Please, after Advaita, Advaita, please. No doubt. Advaita first, and then Rahul. Yeah. No doubt at all. It's no doubt at all. It's it's definitely an emotive issue, and it's been exploited. It's been exploited down the ages. I mean, if you look back at the history of beef brands, you'll go down to 1950, and you'll see how this has played out. So there's absolutely no doubt in my mind at all. I think I think Hinduism has a diversity of dietary practices. Certainly, someone like Swami Vivekananda said, and I'm paraphrasing him, but essentially what he said was that you know you cannot take local custom and make that the essence of a religion, and that's exactly what's happening here. And he was speaking in the context of North Indian. Hindus and South Indian Hindus and this and the, and the pr practice of eating uh, meat. So I think you know there is diversity in the dietary habits of Hindus. You said that in your introduction, be it from the Northeast, be it in Kerala. I think this uh, the the, re the need to frame this in binary positions I think is extremely problematic because you know you can be someone like me, be pro-choice and be pro-vegetarian. It does not matter. Uh, the problem that we have is like uh, someone said earlier, is Article 21 is completely eclipsed by this demand by this diktat, in fact, and it's very rightly done by the Mumbai High Court today that they've tossed it out. And anyone who tries to frame frame this in the context of some sort of religiosity needs to go back to the Vedas and read on Article how this was referred, how this was referred, go back to even let the complete much Rahul, let maligned complete Rahul. Smriti, where much maligned Manusmriti, which is not, um, which is not something that, uh, whose authority I recognize or hold in very high esteem, but certainly in one version of it, because it has multiple versions, over 50 versions, uh, eating meat is justified. So what are we what are we talking about here? Are we not going to acknowledge the diversity in Hinduism itself? And priorities and an issue of priorities. One second, Rahul Ishwar, remember this. Remember, draw a parallel between what happened in Dadri, the incident in Kerala House in Delhi, and the case in Rajasthan. I hope you remember all three cases. In Dadri, a vicious mob rush. Remember our a vicious constitution. Prem Shukla, after I speak, after I speak, Prem Shukla. Prem Shukla, let me complete my point. In Dadri, a mob rushed into a person's house on the suspicion that he was consuming beef and killed him. In Kerala Bhavan, a police force marched into a state Bhavan on the suspicion on the suspicion. Asip Bamla and Prem Shukla, don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me unless what I'm saying to you is uncomfortable for you. In Kerala Bhavan, a police force marched into a state Bhavan on the suspicion that there was cow beef, the cow meat that was being consumed. In Rajasthan, four students were picked up by the police. They were having goat meat. By decriminalizing the consumption of beef, this fear and rumor mongering will hopefully end. And hopefully it will be a lesson for people like Rahul Ishwar who be mix up, who mix up politics with their own display of tradition. Rahul Ishwar, please respond logically tonight. In to the India, point made by India is a constitutional Rahul. republic. India is a constitutional republic. Article 48 
in directive principles of state policy clearly says cow protection is a priority for the government none less than gandhiji was gandhiji communal in vouching for cow protection was gandhiji anti secular gandhiji was the father of our nation who said cow protection is as important as swaraj Come so on. let us not have a binary position no, 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 no. this is a very complicated and complex issue will you dare to call gandhiji what what i i would you like to write down article 48 speaks i'll come to you no Open, 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 please. Where open. does where does Gandhi ji secularism and communalism come in? Please, Rahul, I think you're confused. Because you're Gandhi ji was for communalism. No, wait, wait, just a bit, just a bit. Don't quote history. We are living in 2016. We are in 2016. We're talking about the needs and the, so? the realities of today. What does India want today? Don't does that mean God's truth is gone? Gandhi ji is gone. And 50 years back. No, no. Watch. See, this is the problem. This is the problem. He's speaking. Watch, 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 watch. Thank you for that argument. Thank you for the argument, sir. Thank you for the argument. In 2016, you mean to say that Gandhi ji can be forgotten? What? Not forgotten. I request all Indians to hear this. In 2016, you want Gandhi ji to be forgotten? You want Constitution and Article 48 to be forgotten? The people of the country are even in 2100. Gandhi ji will be remembered. Cow protection will be remembered. Okay. Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Gandhi ji to tell that Gandhi ji should be forgotten? Talk about today. Is it not insulting Now that's no, 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 that's 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 misplaced priority. One second, please. China can respond, please. Asif, after China. Drought, whether it's unemployment, well-being, security, all issues that affect everyone in Maharashtra, the focus is on that. Unfortunately or fortunately, the kind of effort and energy that everyone is putting into this particular case, I want to say this is effort not some new energy. story. Do you have any sense of priority? Do you have? Do you have? One second. What? Just one minute. Just one minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. So Rupen, Rupen, Rupen. I ask you tonight a question which most viewers are also asking tonight, China, and you need to hear me on this. China, listen to the question, otherwise you won't be able to answer. This is not a BJP rally going on here. China, please listen. Please listen. China, China, punishment for possession of beef was prison for a year and fine of two thousand rupees. Viewers, take a look at the following: Section five hundred and nine, Yusuf. Which is a word, gesture, or act intended to insult the modesty of a woman? One year in jail, and in our country today, insulting and outraging the modesty of a woman under Section 509 is categorized in the same pitch as having beef. So, eating beef is a greater offence than insulting and outraging the modesty of a woman. You want to tell me about priorities? This is about priorities. You didn't get your priorities right, Yusuf. Yusuf, you want to respond, Shaina, please? Yeah. Yes, I want to say that the issue here is not about a uh, cow slaughter. The issue here is whether my privacy can be uh, violated, whether the police can come into my house and
what has been struck down is the fundamental right that you cannot violate my privacy. Yeah. How do you come in my house? But, but fundamental do rights that? don't matter for Rahul Ishwar. How do you, how do you prevent what, 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 me from what, eating what, what, what I want to eat? Violating your privacy is something that you cannot do. Just, just one. Just one. Just after him, after him. Asif, Asif, after him. It's somebody saying that you cannot consume beef. Watch, Asif, Asif. He has said time and again that buffalo beef is allowed to be consumed. There's no question there. This is about a directive principle which goes back into time. since you are yes. making this uh, argument please tell us show me the directive principle which allows the fundamental rights to be destroyed show me the directive principle which says that there is a principle that the fundamental <coughs> rights of an indian citizen can be taken away please show me or even no 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 one minute let, let her answer that show me the directive principle one second show me By the directive logic. no 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 one second tell what me. i'll give you 5 seconds yes. please tell me the directive principle which says that the fundamental right of a common man mm. as mentioned in article 21 which has been upheld by the courts today that one can freely exercise his liberty by eating food of his own choice without the persecution of the state as read and i'd like to enlighten you article 21 protection of life and personal liberty no person shall be deprived of his life or personal liberty except according to procedure established by law now this is article 21 please tell me which is the directive principle which bears into and destroys article 21 just tell me that Please tell me. I What, maybe maybe you know things better than me. Yeah, tell me. Say, article forty-eight says no. I article forty-eight says uh, that no, no. One, it's first of all not article. But you are saying you are saying directive that what? we protect the. We what are you saying? What have you have you read article? Have you read article twenty-one? Sir, what does have you read? No, no. One sec. Have you have you read article twenty-one? Article forty-eight says that the state shall endeavour no, no, to organise and Yusuf, Yusuf, please, one at a time. And animal husbandry protect scientifically. ecology as well as the cow now oh, wow. this, this, well, i think you should you should will you should will reply something i don't know what question quite please direct you should will reply asif 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 don't speak of just asif asif no direct principle is just a direct principle you can also cannot be beef overriding a fundamental right which is guaranteed to you the chapters which Should guarantee your fundamental right over way any directive principle the concept of a directive principle is only i I'd, i'd like to explain i'd like to explain to shaina this this entire issue now just be calm my gentlemen don't get worked up on this see shaina article 21 is a fundamental right a fundamental right yes. cannot be I'm taken aware. away by any directive principle one therefore it is a big victory today because the court has drawn clear lines so are you and 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 if you may please i'll complete my point conveyed a message to the state right that you can't a break a fundamental right two you cannot encroach into the personal sphere of a person by intrins by interfering so in this and therefore so are you questioning the honorable supreme court's and, verdict and, and in 2005 and therefore and therefore and therefore 24 out of 29 and therefore states china have china see it. china see do you need to understand this the court has provided a breather to citizens who could not exercise their free will and liberty citizens after the state assumed an orwellian position and induced their sense of fear among people regarding what food is being served on their dinner plate it is a moment of triumph for the collective conscience of society and relief that though the state may not understand the link between directive principles and fundamental rights the court still understands it this is why we are 
you know, a, 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 a you functioning talk about democracy. Collective consciousness. This is, this is the, so this then is the issue. isn't it the collective consciousness no, 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 society no, no, no. at large is, as well? The court where has, you are allowed to consume everything you want, whether it's chicken, mutton, buffalo, beef, you are you're allowed to consume Why everything you, you want to import? Import? suggest Why did you that you the cow to and cow slaughter so which has been adhered to by a multiple states, not a Supreme Court judgment of 2005 is a bone of contention. You've been doing it the animals now but i know i want to i want to i want to make a you see i want to i want to i want to quote here the leather industry cow is a cow is a issue but we are talking about the beef asif, bag, asif, but we are not looking don't speak over each other ab boliye jaldi one second one second one second listen here listen here i'll read out here please understand what is you see you have to if you have to shaina understand if you have to say that uh, Rupan Doshi can't have beef, though he says he doesn't have beef anyway. But he says I support the right of people to have it. Yusuf has beef, and, and so right okay. now, 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 now the now the point is this: you have to then say that there has to be an interest of the state, which means like the sovereignty of the state is threatened, security of the state is threatened. So please tell me, this is what I read, Rahul Ishwar. You see, if you could only temper your the passion, if you could temper your passion with a healthy dose of fact. It might be a very compelling argument that you could have built and allow me to enlighten you today, Rahul uh, Ishwar, about the facts in this case. The court says in judgment para 185, which questions the Maharashtra government's compelling reason. The court asked the Maharashtra government, Bhai, what is your compelling reason? And the court says that the state has not come out with any material to show what is the compelling state interest. To provide an to prevent an individual from possessing or consuming the meat of cow or its progeny, which is the product of slaughter outside the state. In other words, the Maharashtra government has to say that there will be a law and order situation, right? If in my fridge in my house you get beef, if I am keeping beef in my house and I am importing it from outside, so why are you listen. This to Maharashtra? Do you why understand? Are you and the by, the way, by, by the way, by the way, China, the reason I am telling you this, this is the reason I am telling you. No, 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 no. Watch, watch. The point of, in 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 Mumbai. You should start banning drugs because in Mumbai, you know, party drugs and this drugs and True. that drugs, the drug trade is rampant Absolutely. in That's Mumbai. That's a different issue. You can't yeah. ban drugs, you want to ban That's beef. So many Irony. Things. Yeah. So, so many other things. Let us be intellectually yeah, honest. Let us be intellectually honest to accept that there are grey areas in this. Who are you accusing, no. you accusing, of, Watch, are you you accusing of intellectually dishonesty? Let us be intellectually honest Who to accept that there are grey areas involved. First, let us be Raul, let him make. He has a right to make his point like you have a right to you know make yours yeah once yeah Rahul, let us not forget cow was the reason for first war of independence that much is the importance of the issue what? please let us not forget that what are you saying Rahul? don't take us I back in history Baba. 2016 why do you want to cut all the roots of india you want to cut all the roots yesterday's Talk the way we come, you want to forget all that. I don't remember. You want yesterday. to discard Mahatma Gandhi. You want to discard Constitution. You want to discard Article 48. You want to discard Rahul, Hustwar what of Independence. You, have you want to discard the 5,000 year old culture of the India. Young people of today, don't take me back in history. You have no answer for the young people of today who are less than 30 years of age. They don't understand what no, language no, 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 the court says. The this court. Young people saying, will man. become old people tomorrow. They will understand the sensitivity. The, 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 don't be the ultra modern person who has no roots. No, we the, only the when we have roots, we will have this strength. The court says, process. okay, Advaita Let Kala, Advaita Kala, history. Advaita Kala, please, Advaita Kala. And I need to then get into the debate in detail. Yeah, Advaita, go on. Advaita. Very quickly, uh, very quickly, you know, I, I don't think that you can, uh, you know, diminish uh, the fact that there are some people and there are certainly Hindus who hold the cow in veneration, I, a cow, sorry, in veneration. You can't, you can't, you know, diminish that or say because it's 2016 that doesn't hold true. However, the debate is really very different. It's about individual liberty and about rights and fundamental rights. And I think that's what one needs to stick to rather than assuming that the younger generation would not necessarily, you know, venerate the cow. I think that's, that's the wrong place to go. Into. That's no, no, Rahul, to Rahul Ishwar, listen, uh, times are changing, you know. You are you are hurt ever since you are realizing that Sabri Malai, Shani Shignapur, Haji Ali, things are changing. And now and now you are also concerned about what's happening in the case of beef. I'd like to enlighten you, Rahul and Shaina, that the court today says judgment para 176 on the right to privacy of a citizen. And I truly believe that both you and Shaina should read the specific paragraphs with reprimand the state government of infringing on individuals' constitutional rights. You are presenting a little bit of a don't mind my saying it unreal argument the court says that in the decision in the case of Vidrohak Sangh, the apex court has specifically held that what one eats is one's personal affair and it is part of the privacy included in article 21 
of the constitution of India. Therefore, if the state tells people not to eat a particular type of food or prevents the citizens from possessing or consuming a particular type of food, it's an infringement of the right of privacy as it violates the right to be let alone. The right to be let alone is a fundamental right. Supreme Court. No, no, one second. Court you can't come into my house tomorrow and say, talk to me if I don't want to. For cow protection. It's my right. Tomorrow they will no, no, you are, you, are, you are walking on a very essential right of a person to do what he wants. Come on, Rahul Ishwar. See, you let, can't. Let, let us not be blind. There are no limits to this thing. liberal argument. I have liberty. I have unlimited liberty. Yeah, you it's have liberty. So do others. Just because there is an article Don't 14 and article 21, that doesn't problem. mean other articles are not there. There are other articles, other provisions of Indian constitution. That's the totality of Indian constitution. Arnabji, unfortunately, is only no, focusing no, on Article 14 and Article 21. No, no, no other to, to My, my, my view, no, no, you don't have the RSS breathing down your neck. But, but Shaina, even if the RSS is breathing down the BJP government's neck, you should still have your own independent view. You are sworn to defend the constitution, not defend the RSS view of things. You understand? Life is not about is pleasing the RSS. Anybody, it is about is living as per the constitution. Group or a community. This is about the people of India and a provision which is given, a constitutional provision. So and that's what the okay. Honorable Court how said today. Provision, the High Court verdict how does says Section 5 that we do believe that the cow must be protected. No, no, but tell these me, what are you protecting? Go, a cow in Belgium or a cow in Australia? Convention. You don't allow me to bring a Wagyu beef from, from Japan. Is that what you're protecting? Who, you're what, putting Section 5D and saying I cannot import beef. Is that protection? What kind of protection is that if you're preventing I think I think you have to preserve. You want to preserve a particular cattle in the state I, of Maharashtra, in the country of India, do that. What I, gives I, you the right to prevent me from importing something and eating? No, no, people. Why uh, is that? Why is that an offense? Why was that sought to be made an offense? That is the question. Uh, I think know. I think governments must catch murderers and rapists instead yes. of trying to find out what is in someone's tiffin box. You know, you have not been elected. The BJP government has not been elected to find out what is in people's tiffin boxes, yeah. Prem Shukla. And this, today what the court has said, has, should give you a sense of reality in this country. That, that at the end of the day, the government should not waste its time trying to find out if what is in what? somebody's tiffin box Maybe. instead of trying to uh, help the doubted farmers of Maratwada and Latur. You, you want to help the IPL. That's exactly you what we're doing. I would appreciate if you focus and stop on that. People from having and see the kind second. of work last, we have last done. Last point to you, please. Frame Shukla. Frame Shukla. Frame Shukla. Frame Shukla and then I close. Frame Shukla. The situation is under control. This is not about consumption of just illegal or We have said that you can consume privacy. के नाम पे घर पे रखने का अधिकार हो नहीं वो नहीं है वही आप जब exactly जब यहां पर महाराष्ट्र में ये तय हो गया कि इल्लीगल और इलेजिमेट है काउ बीफ तो उसके बाद उसको घर में रखने का किसने बोला इलीगल स्लॉटर करना महाराष्ट्र में इलीगल है गोवा में इलीगल नहीं है तो क्या इसका मतलब है कि आप गोवा से नहीं ला सकते हो आज आज जो है गोवा में लीगल है कि नहीं सर अभी सिर्फ जो है गोवा में लीगल है शुक्ला जी और बीजेपी की सरकार है गोवा और बीजेपी की सरकार है गोवा में लीगल है गोवा में अगर लीगल है उसको यहाँ लाके खाने में वही मैं बता रहा हूँ कैसे ट्रेस कैसे करेंगे कि गोवा से आया है तो वही मैं बता रहा हूँ कि आप कैसे Okay, okay, I, I, I also, I, I, okay, viewers, 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 on the issue, on the issue of beef opsi, I'm closing the debate. This is the lowest point where we now have to debate whether the beef came from a cow in Goa or a cow in Kerala or a cow in Assam. I mean, there are other things to do. Let's get on with life. Let's get on with life. The I should stick to governance and get out of my place. Big lesson in the story. I thank you. I thank you all for joining me on debate number two on the news hour tonight. Thank you. Thank you.